Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. In today's episode, we are going to learn all about Bootstrap Collapse, also known as Accordions. So in your applications, you might need to use something like an accordion where one tab opens, the other tab closes or something like that. So we are going to build that in this particular episode. But before we get started, I request you to kindly subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. These tutorials are good for both beginners as well as for experienced professionals. If you have any doubts, any queries during any course of this series, please do so by asking me in the comment section. I will be happy to help you for free. Let's get started with Bootstrap Collapse. So Bootstrap provides a lot of utility classes which we can usually use to create accordions in our application. So to build that, um, we can have multiple accordions in one screen and you can have multiple tabs for each of the accordion. I'm going to show you that now in real time project. So let's get started with that. We are building a arc reminders uh, application where we are going to use the bootstrap collapse uh, uh, component. Let's get started. To show you, we have built so far, we have built a beautiful application which has the reminders, which has the contacts about and we have used navbar we have put routing we have pushed the model window uh, we have form is coming in up in next episode so stay tuned for that all right so now we are going to put an accordion uh, let's say we are going to create a route and we are going to add in that and we'll say um, inside the reminders let's put an accordion for now and then we will convert it into uh, the weekly basis so i'm going to go to my reminders component and in this uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use accordion directly now for now so let's go to model let's go to collapse component and for now we are going to copy the collapse component as it is and then we will build and customize it based on our application needs so let's just give it one quick minute before we get started all right, it's still loading, so let it load. All right, so here we are collapse. So let's go there. And we are going to use a multi-accordion example. So I'm going to copy this here and we will use that in our reminder screen. So let's go here and I have put an accordion. So we can also create a new component and use it in that. But for now, let's just build uh, simple accordion in our application and then customize it so this is how it looks beautiful so far so we have the collapsible here and then we can have all of this data customized so I'm going to use a screen where I'm going to build it and customize it like personal professional etc so here we can have this week here we can have next week here we have next month so we can create three different accordion groups. So I am going to cut the this week's task from here. So now you will not see that. Now you will not see this here. So we have three reminders. So I am going to go and customize this. Make it this week. This I'm going to customize and make it next week. And this I'm going to make it customized and make it this month. So three simple titles this week, next week and this month looks good so far. And now I'm going to paste the data instead of the static data i'm going to call my component which is this week in it and let's see that now in action so now you see we got this week we got next week we got this month so in this week i'm i can remove this now because we don't need that header anymore and in the component i'm just going to remove this here the entire row with the HR so that way I just have the list items in it so so there we are so we have our this week's list and then we can use the same 
uh, in the next week and let's call that here list items this is for this week I'm going to use it for next week and here I'm going to use this app next week so in the reminders I'm going to put app same similarly just copy this and then move this data here and control paste it here instead of this week now I'm going to call it next week here also I'm going to call it next week all right so now we have two different components so that we are calling so this is for next week this is for this week see the difference so in the next week also we don't need that so remove that title here we don't need that So we have this week, we have next week, and we have this month. So that's how you can use accordions to dynamically connect with multiple uh, data sets or different components. You can integrate into them and we can have it all working together in one go. So that, that, is, that is how um, we can easily customize and we can say that um, uh, we, can, we can basically use collapse uh, functionality in whichever way you want. Uh, that you want to expand or hide one of the view so a lot of data can be incorporated and uh, can be easily a uh, lot of data can fit in this only thing is uh, we can use to hide it to a particular tab i hope you like this um, and yeah that was for today's episode but in the next episode i'll bring you uh, breadcrumbs after that we'll start with our forms that is the CRUD operations in detail. So uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep getting updates. Also, um, like I said, uh, if you have any doubts, any queries, please drop them in the comment section below. I will be happy to help you for free. All right, so thank you so much. See you in the next episode.